Today's video, we're going to be going over the cartwheel in wrestling and how you can use it to get reversals, takedowns, and even pins. The video includes Dayton Fix, Yanni Dalcomahales, AJ Ferrari, John Onesti, Sajalaya, Bryson Doni, and Sammy Sasso, and a few other Russians who, whose names I don't know. So let's get right into it. So let's slow it down for you guys. This is the quarterfinal match at NCAAs. Now, most of the time when you see this move done as a reversal from bottom, two things you're going to notice is the bottom guy is typically going to use his forehand and his forehead as a balance point. By forehand, I mean the hand is furthest away from his opponent. The inside hand is really up to them. Sometimes they hook the elbow, sometimes they don't hook anything. In this case, as you can see in the circle, Dayton Fix actually used his hand to hook Ernesti's far knee. What, what this did was keep Ernesti from moving away, which pretty much secured the reversal pretty easily. In his next clip, this is the first round of NCAAs with Yanni. Let's slow it down. So first things first, what you're going to notice, you have to clear your hip in order to do this cartwheel. You have to clear your hip, guys. He cannot be riding on top of your hips and you do this move. Also, in this specific uh, example, you will see Yanni, because he's not hooking anything, he's on his forehand, his forehead, so really his whole face, as well as his far, his near hand, as in the hand close, the arm closest to the, his opponent's body. He's on his, own, his whole forearm. Now, this, the last two clips we saw, we saw it used to get the reversal, but in this one, you're actually going to see it from neutral in order to get the pinfall. So, Nessie kind of shoots with desperation, head and arm. We've all been there before. So for anybody who knows how to finish any type of hip toss, head and arm type movement, you know that you don't want your opponent posting their outside foot like you see Furry's doing here, as well as Ernesti wants his inside hip blocking off his opponent's inside hip so he can elevate that side of the body and his opponent kind of fall over to their back. The way it is right now, it's impossible for him to get that done. So the move is done, the move is finished. But because his hips are clear, he can actually hit a cartwheel from this position. That's exactly what he does. So he, he's realizing he's not gonna be able to hit it traditionally. He cartwheels over and notice how he aggressively gets his hips down to the mat. He doesn't stay in that cartwheel the entire time. He cartwheels over and by halfway, he gets his for lack of better words, his nuts facing the mat. Now in this example, this is from this season, this past season, this is Bryson Donian versus three-time All-American Sammy Sasso. So this one, and Donian actually stands all the way up in order to hit a reversal at the end of the period. Let's hit, let's say it from a different view. Donian stands up, he, he hits, like I call it a reverse lap. So the, he he has a reverse lap grip right here. He also, with his other hand, he reaches all the way down and he blocks Sammy Sasso's leg, similar to how, similar to how Dayton Fix did it in order to hit the cartwheel and end up getting the reversal. Now let's see some Russians do it. So this one's actually pretty slick. So. This time, the Russian guy on bottom, well, they're both Russians, but he hooks, he uses his elbow to hook his opponent's elbow slash tricep. And he's using his forehand and his forehead as a balance point in order to cartwheel over. Easy points. Another example. So guys, I know that in folk style wrestling, 
no one is gonna have no one is going to have a gunt wrench, but if they have a half Nelson or a claw rod, you can use the same thing. But exactly what you see right here is he's on he's hooking the elbow just like the last opponent did. He's on his forehand and he's on his forehead. And he uses this one to keep the elbow and actually end up getting a pin out of this move. Another example where the opponent ends up on their back. This is such a slip move, guys. So he gets a little bit closer. As you guys can see right here, he's on his far hand, his forehead, and his hand is gripping his opponent's tricep in order to hit the cartwheel. He steps over to catch that arm before the opponent rolls through. And I'm not sure if he got the pin or not, but I know he got back points, but I'm pretty sure it's freestyle, so they call pins pretty quick. These next two clips are going to include Sajalayev. Sajalayev just hit it from an overhook position from neutral in order to go for the takedown. Let's slow down this last clip just to see it in slow motion. So he posts that hand to the mat, cartwheel is over, but then he hits like a full helicopter and he goes for the takedown. This is when, this is skinny Sajalayev down to 86 kilograms. In his last clip, we got AJ Ferrari versus John Pastita. So we all know AJ Ferrari is pretty good on top. So he goes for the half Nelson. Pastita's kind of in trouble. His hips gets free. He cartwheels over, but because he doesn't have a grip on anything, it ends up not being perfect. But then he just walks on his hands backwards and completes the reversal. So. That's the video for today, guys. The third day of 10 days of wrestling. I appreciate you guys for liking, commenting. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you.